in a previous video, we have learned how to calculate the inclusive wealth index per capita growth rate uh, using China as an example. However, this inclusive wealth index only includes three components, the produced capital, human capital, and natural capital. However, it ignores and neglects uh, one important uh, part of this um, growth, which is the productivity growth or technological increase. In this video, we will learn how to account for this technological progress using an economic term called the total factor productivity. You are given a data on the, ever, on the TFP growth rate from 1990 to 2008. For China, I have the data from 1990 to 2013. So to calculate the adjusted IWI per capita growth rate, first you need the original IWI per capita annual growth rate, which is the 2.07% we calculate here. Just a copy and paste. And you want to copy it to the value, so copy paste the special to the values. So you will see it is shown in um, now it's showing as 2.7%. So what you want to do is calculate the average TFP growth rate from 1990 to 2008. So you could delete this data and calculate average. So each of this number is already a TFP growth rate in 1990-1991. So to calculate the average growth rate, you just need to take the average of those uh, ones in column B. So take average. What you see is, uh, what you get is 2.86. So which means, on on average, China's um, total factor productivity growed by 2.86 percent. So the adjusted inclusive wealth per capita growth rate would be a summation of these two, the original IWI per capita annual growth rate plus the average per uh, TFP growth rate. So instead of just getting 2%, you get roughly 5%. You can do similar thing after you have calculated the inclusive wealth index per capita growth rate for another country, say USA or Jap Japan, and just to use the uh, TFP growth rate provided and calculate their corresponding uh, rate. So, and you can get the adjusted one by summing these two.